Yo, what's good everyone? Today's video, I'm gonna showcase you guys my undefeated Pendulum Magician deck list featuring Barone de Floor. This card's absolutely insane. I went undefeated, I won the whole thing. I won 18 packs, something like that. I pulled nothing. I beat this encoder, beat a lot of good players. And uh, the deck's insane, so we're gonna go straight into it. But before we do, shout out to the cameraman, this encoder. <laughs> what's up, Triff? Yo, how are you liking Toronto, bro? Bro, I'm having a lot of fun, having a lot of fun. That's amazing to hear. And let, with that being said, also one more shout out. Oh, I was in there. I get, your play get them right now, guys, on tripgaming.com. We have like 10 more left of these, so get yours ASAP. I'm pretty sure that's the only reason I did well. All right, guys, so, anyways, with that being said, let's get straight into it. So, uh, double Joker, three Sork. You guys need to play these in this in this Baronis to Floor version. It's so reliant on Joker, it's insane. I'll explain when we get to that point. It's super reliant on Wisdom as well. That's why you need the Joker. So, the idea is very simple. If you have Joker, uh, great, you get the Wisdom. If you don't have the Joker or the Wisdom, you get the Sork to pinch them summon and there's scenarios where you could special summon two level fours like one sork and any tuner and you end on the full board just like that and so much advantage and so much plus just because you got to resolve joker and because you have access to a tuner it's an amazing simply because of baronis to floor and you're always safe you always end up baronis to floor with scythe like being active with the pen graph it's absolutely broken so these are like the eight best starters basically and then your goal you want to have scales of open and iris like 99 percent of the time so you play three of each of them to ensure that this happens. Duelist Alliance, Wisdom, Joker, Iris. You have so many ways to Iris. And the game plan is going second. You always pop your own Iris to get your pen graph out ASAP. That way, once you get the pen graph, you could pop another Iris because Oath will add back the Wisdom to pop the Iris again to get two. So you want these set up with your Baronis to Floor and Scythe like all the time. And it is very important. So other magicians, obviously, you want to play the three Harma, which you want to pen summon and a Celestial. These are the ones you pendulum summon all the time. And you do these very often. You want to make sure you pen, pen summon these out a lot. These are ones that come up very often. Poison so ass going first. It's actually a Gemini Garnet going first. But going second, it's good to have one of each of these. They come up so much going second, even Black Fang. But they do come up. And the fact that the level 4 Magicians comes up a lot. And the one Time Gazer. Three Chrono as Extenders. Three Tuning Magician and one Souls. Souls is just because you can search it with Time Star. If you really want to play more ex Extenders, you could. It allows you to play through Nibiru better. So if you had three Souls, play three souls i do have three souls i just opted not to play it you could remove maybe one performer by pendulum sorcerer and one pen call perhaps and also i play one luster the reason behind luster is that it makes ignister way better and it makes it so going second if all you're gonna do is clear a board it's so easy now because you you just make the ignister you pop shuffle everything and to build especially this seven go needle fiber after so you get rid of an interruption and then you needle fiber it does come up but if you really want to play more extenders which is a scenario you're gonna take a one sork and one luster pen for three souls and then one scythe mvp by a landslide the fact that you put up pen graph scythe baron is the floor sat, like dragster like it's it's insane what this deck could do even on bricks but decks that scythe is not good against it's a little more weaker but if you're playing a deck that scythe's not good against they they suck except for like a very few slight decks which you just have to you're playing a better deck than them because pen best deck and then three desires if you banish scythe whatever who cares you still put up a bunch of pendulum negates you got three duelist alliance and two pen call the only reason you're playing two pen call is in case you banish one with the desires you want to freely desi desires hoping alliance can get a pen call if you need it uh, it conflicts with a few cards in your deck so but two is a good number and then one of each pen graph uh you don't need more of them if you want to play more it co does come sometimes but yeah one of each is legit like all you need to search whenever you need to very rarely do you need more and in that scenario it could brick sometimes extra deck now you got dagda uh, obviously main part of the combo and now uh, this part a lot of people don't but you need to do this double needle fiber double selene i literally ran out run, run out of selene and run out of needle fiber duels do not last one duel one turn you want to make sure you're needle fibering every single turn that you have every single turn without question you go first all right now you're going second are you trying to otk are you trying to win you need to make sure you have this place it up going first it's needle fiber selene into appalooza going second is needle fiber selene into access code this needs to always survive whether you're going first or second no matter what you never want to run out of these i actually ran out of these a few times but i'm not going to play three of them uh there's also a lot of cool play i'm not playing artemis the link one uh just because i forgot it at home 
I would remove Dragster for a Link 1 Artemis, okay? If I brought it, the reason why is it makes Harmonizing Magician a one card auto win. I'll show the combo at the very end. And then we got for XYZ's Dweller, Tornado, Time Star. Time Star comes up very good to put XYZ's in the graveyard and to make Pengraph insane. It, you could do cool stuff like uh, pop your Black Bang, protect with Time Star, send Tuning Magician, special Tuning Magician. Very cool stuff with it. And then you play the Zeus on top. This is very important. If you can't afford Zeus, get a job. Then you need to play this with Needle Fiber because the idea is after you, you use uh, Needle Fiber with TG Wonder and the Scythe, you pop, use a Scythe to negate everything and then the two of them go into Baroness. Very difficult to play around this. And the fact that this pops, it's like a mini Dragoon. It's actually insane how good this is together. And the Ignister is very vital. I didn't think it was, but it comes up a lot, especially with the Luster in the deck. And lastly, this should be the Artemis, like I said. So, uh, I should, and then I'll do the side deck quickly. This is also a very important side deck okay like legit i can't stress this enough okay you don't need your normal summon you side out your joker and sorcerer you side that out for your for these how do you play against drytron hand traps aren't going to do it you need to see one of these and you play five pendulum calls so if you draw too many you pen call it away you play souls get rid of the dark ruler so you have ways to get rid of these extra cards so it's totally fine so you just need to see them uh round one i almost lost round one to drytron i lost the dice roll it's game three my sixth card was lava golem if I only played eight of these cards, I lost. That was a hand trap, you lost. Okay. Like, and if that was a hand trap, I lost. Uh, the idea behind it is you draw one of these and you win. You don't need your normal summon, you pen five. You need these nine. I can't stress it enough. If, you, if you're playing eight, you're playing it incorrectly. You just need nine. There's no other card in Yu-Gi-Oh that does it. Not even droplets, because Pendulum need all their cards in their hand. Anyways, so after these nine, you play the next, you play the Spell and Trap Equivalents, which is three Danko, one Duster, one Red Reboot. You could play Lightning Storm and Evenly Match if you want to. I just had Denko. This is like the budget version. I have Evenly at home. I just forgot to bring it, but Denko is fine as well. And I just played one called by it, which would be like another like Lightning Storm or Evenly, but it was just there. Droll does not hurt this deck. You play 30 monsters. You still put up Scythe with Baroness through it, so it just doesn't matter. Uh, that's it for the deck. Now, one thing I want to show quickly before we leave off, what one Harmonizing Magician can do. It's absolutely insane. Now, let's say you, you, you're a opponent wasted all their negates they tr got rid of your scales they got rid of all this blah 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 but one harmonizing magician resolves okay harmonizing magician will summon anything this could also just be two of any two of any monsters so once you go into these two yo benny shut up once you go into these two you go into needle fiber needle fiber effect you go into tuning magician and then i told you guys that we're instead of the dragster you play artemis so you go into artemis with the two for the tuning and then because you always have magicians this is why you play no dark worm this is why you play no dark worm because you don't want gate zero in your scale you're not playing absolute you're not playing any of that you don't want anything in your scale except for magicians nothing else you just need magicians there the only scales you have other than that sorcerer very rarely unless you brick is that your scale you only want magician in your scale and then you summon back the tuning magician that was summoned by needle fiber and then these two go into artifact degda artifact degda now sorry let me put this backwards for you guys you'll be left with the field of this you pass your turn your opponent activates one card you activate needle fiber effect triggering the degda this will now set your scythe and needle fiber will bring out tg wonder magician which will pop the scythe and then your opponent can activate any of the monster effects and then these sink into baroness the floor so not only is your opponent not playing but you're not playing through this negate and you have complete scales and because you're, you're set up because even if you pen summon one perform by pendulum sorcerer and go into tuning magician harmonizing whatever it does the same thing so even bricks per se ensure that you're doing great even if you pendulum a black fang magician and a purple poison magician you xyz them into time star magician to search your tuning magician and normal or special it so you always have access to tuners no matter what so the deck's absolutely insane and this is the first tournament i played with it and we were undefeated the whole way so all i'm saying is denver three on three you guys are going down i didn't get my sign up for pasadena but you guys are going down too you tracked no response because you guys are also going down and also i love holland though i do want to go that place is insane have you ever gone <laughs> you've gone right yeah you've gone i've been last down year. to them yeah. two years ago two years yeah, ago yeah i did i did i did and lastly i wanted to say yeah pendulum is not dead maybe i've been playing a little bit of dual links but i've been playing pendulums abdul how insane is pendulums so honestly a very underrated best deck only when he's piloting it though <laughs> every other person that deck is like tier six but the only reason that i won 
It's because I played on this playback. So if you guys want to get it, get yours right now in the description. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to play a card for cards. You guys can copy your points too. Make sure to smash the subscribe button, smash the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.